Hi, this video is a demonstration of the TRS Wiki Wikipedia browser for the TRS-80 Model 1 microcomputer. Yes, it's the same TRS-80 Model 1 from 1977, the one with the whopping 48K max memory. Uh, the TRS Wiki browser requires a very interesting and specialized piece of hardware connected to your Model 1. It's called the MISE, which is the Model 1 System Expander, developed by Peter Bartlett. Uh, and what it does is it connects to your Model 1 uh, system bus through the expansion interface and provides uh, several uh, modern pieces of uh, electronic uh, hardware, uh, such as a VGA output for a VGA monitor. You can see I have one hooked up here. Essentially mirrors what's on your TRS-80 CRT. And um, it also provides hardware, hard drive support via compact flash cards and a few other items. And most importantly for TRS Wiki is a Ethernet connection with a, and a built-in TCP IP uh, stack. So, once you download the TRS Wiki browser from uh, the website and copy it over to your TRS-80 Model 1 using the uh, MyZFTP service, uh, you can go ahead and run TRS Wiki. And up comes the TRS Wiki uh, main screen, um, which has uh, instructions on how to use the browser. Uh, use the down arrow to advance to the next screen on the current page, the up arrow to see the previous screen. The left arrow goes to the previous page, it's analogous to the back button on a browser. The break key ends the program, the clear key comes back to this page uh, to enter a new search. And then the 1 through 0 and A through Z keys are the link keys which are used to activate hyperlinks. Uh, that you see on the wiki pages. So the first thing you need to do is enter a search term. So let's search for TRS-80. And up come the Wikipedia search results for the t term uh, TRS-80. Uh, so you can see number one is uh, TRS-80, uh, TRS-80 microcomputer system, uh, which is um, describing the, the Model 1, which is the computer we're using here. And then underneath that, we have the TRS-80 color computer, TRS-80 model 100, TRS-80 model 2. Uh, model, actually, the model 2 is my favorite of all the TRS-80s, but that's a uh, subject for another video. And you can see next to each of the search, search results, we have a number within brackets. And that's how I represent hyperlinks which in, within the uh, application. So you can hit the number 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, to go to that particular page. And you can scroll down on this page to see more search results. There's number 5, DMC 10, uh, number 6, which is actually TRS-80, the uh, electronic uh, music group. Um, but let's go back up and we'll go to um, page 4, which is the TRS-80 Model 2. And now we're at the TRS-80 Model 2 Wikipedia page. Uh, so you can scroll up and down the page, see the contents, uh, the various flavors of the Model 2, like the Model 12, etc. And it, basically the content you see here is the same that you'll see on your modern day browser Wikipedia page. All the lovely historical information on the Model 2 computer. And then you can jump to hyperlinks within the page. Um, for instance, here, uh, let's see, Radio Shack's dealer in Perry, Michigan. So if I hit uh, the 2 key, I will jump to the Wikipedia page for Perry, Michigan. And I'll just go back here to the Model 2 page. So I hit the back button, scroll back up to the top. Uh, Tears Wiki also supports uh, images. So uh, you can see up here, you see the... Uh, image one so that's a hyperlink to an image so we'll view the image of the model 2 computer by hitting one and there's the TRS-80 model 2 as represented by the uh, 
how should we call it, ultra low resolution provided by the Model 1. Uh, standard graphics resolution of the Model 1 was 128 by 48 pixels. Um, so we can barely make out what that is if you know what a Model 2 looks like. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we do have improvement on that. So I'm just going to break out of the program. And there is a second program available called TRS Wiki H. TRS Wiki H um, is the high resolution variant of TRS Wiki. Uh, TRS Wiki H takes advantage of the Mises um, emulation of a piece of hardware called the PCG80. PCG80 was a kit available back in the day that you could install in your TRS-80 Model 1 uh, to achieve better graphics resolution. So it allowed you to reprogram up to 256 characters on the screen and to get a resolution of up to 192 by 96 pixels. And these are actually smaller pixels than the standard Model 1 pixels. They're almost like actual um, the actual pixels of the uh, monitor itself. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do here is we'll search for TRS-80 now. And we'll go to the Model 2 again. That's link number 4. And now let's look at the image in high resolution. Now the image is going to show up only on the VGA monitor. So I'm going to move over here. And there you can see much better. We can actually make out that it is a TRS-80 Model 2 computer. Now the uh, the Mize only presents PCG-80 graphics on the VGA output because the Mize doesn't really have access to the video circuitry within the uh, within the TRS-80. So if you look on the actual TRS-80 standard monitor, you, you see the uh, the characters that represent the image, but they're not reprogrammed because my TRS-80 does not have a PCG-80 kit installed. Uh, I've actually never seen one before. Um, if you have one, let me know. I'd love to see how a TRS-80 wiki runs on a real PCG-80 system. So for PCG-80 mode, we have to rely upon our VGA output. Um, you'll notice the, uh, the, frame, the uh, frame of the image has all these dots, and, and that's kind of an artifact of the fact that um, even the the, uh, the border of the image needs to be a character. So what I end up doing is just picking the darkest character out of the 256 that we use to represent, create the image in the center, and use that as the frame. In many cases, it's it's almost completely black or only a few pixels. So it's kind of a trade off that uh, I think is worth it. Um, so we can go back to the Model Two page. And we can let's hit the clear button. Let's try to search for uh, something else. Let's search for Han Solo. And Han Solo is a character in the original trilogy and sequel trilogy of the Star Wars universe. Let's hit one. Uh, let's look at the image for Han Solo. So it's image two, which means we have to hit two to view the image. Hey, there's Han. Pretty decent with PCG80 mode. So that's the Tiris uh, Wiki browser. Um, if you have a Mize, uh, you can uh, give it a shot and let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully, in the future, I'll also be writing a version of this uh, that doesn't require a Mize um, and probably will run on other TRS-80 models such as the Model 3 and of course my favorite the Model 2 um, using some sort of a um, serial port to Ethernet adapters which uh, I see there are a plethora of them out there uh, I'll have to investigate that so for now signing off thanks